31 years old and eight and a half months pregnant, Terlisa Shepard saw her doctor to have a lump under her arm checked that was growing as her pregnancy progressed. Left work that day, told everybody, I'll be right back. You know, I'm just going for a mammogram to check this out and didn't return back to work because that is the evening that I found out I had breast cancer. Black women are not only more likely to be diagnosed with breast cancer at a younger age, but are also 40% more likely to die of the disease, making it critical that they know their risk, talk to their doctor, and get their recommended screenings. African-American women tend to have a more aggressive disease course, and we want everybody to be aware, and we want everybody, irrespective of their race, starting uh, screening mammograms at age 40. But a new national survey by Orlando Health finds 22% of women aged 35 to 44 have never had a mammogram and have no plans to get one, a concerning statistic to oncologists like Dr. Nikita Shaw, who has seen the difference early diagnosis can make. Cancer that's caught uh, early, like a stage zero breast cancer, has essentially 100% survival versus a stage three, depending on the subtype, may have a survival between 50 and 70 percent. For some, mammograms should begin before 40, and knowing your unique risk factors can be life-saving. Yet the survey found that only about a quarter of women have had a conversation with their doctor about their breast cancer risks. So actually, it is recommended that every woman at, starting at age 25 should have her risk of developing breast cancer assessed, and this is typically done either by a primary care physician or a gynecologist. Terlisa had a healthy daughter, and 23 years later, she is an advocate for mammograms and early detection. I know for sure that that mammogram saved my life and my baby's life. At Orlando Health, this is Barb Consiglio reporting.